You should be thankful we didn't throw you into a stew like we did your partner. Ew, is that what the stew was? Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Seduce Me Too. So, we just had lovely times with Eric and this is the time we're actually going to start the siege of the war. I'm really afraid because I think I made like a lot of mistakes and I don't know if I made the right choices to get the good ending. And I heard that the, Eric's route is very, very emotional and like, is very like, easy to get the bad route in his, so I'm really scared. Michaela, why you do this to us? Day, the day of the siege had finally dawned. We had arrived at the Demon Lord's castle and we were as ready as we could be. Many armies bearing different banners and colors watched over the grounds before the castle, ready to rush in and lay the waste to the Demon Lord and the remainder of his forces. As all of us shared a common enemy and, upon his demise, would finally know the form of peace. Hopefully. During the roll call of the Major Generals, the air became full of determination and pride. Mirth! Avarice! Nadia! Bjorna! Aradum! Each name called became a mark on history. This was the war to bring freedom or destruction to the demon world. If the Rebellion didn't win this fight, then the war would never end. The rebelli if the Rebellion won, then the world would become united in hopeful, peaceful rule. Hopefully that's the case again! The hour before the battle was set to take place. My thoughts instantly ran back to our final meeting with Lilith in the Lilith Castle. Diana had pulled the leaders and us together, instructing us on how to proceed. Sero, you will be joining Shadow and Sergeant in the front, taking care of the main army head on. I expect that you will come out of it alive. God, please. Please keep him alive, because we- I, I saw someone in the comments in one of the um, other parts of this Let's Play. You uh, you dubbed them Cyana. That is their ship name. We have to keep them together, okay? <laughs> that's, a, that's a goal here. Yes, my lady. Rabbit, Faye, you are in charge of ranged attacks and defense. We cannot allow any of those blasted imps getting to us from behind. Yes, ma'am! Okay. As Diana looked to me, I grew slightly fearful. I had to get into the Demon Lord's castle, but how exactly did Diana plan on getting me there? You and your fiancé will take the side route straight to the castle. Oh god, we're going with Eric and- oh no, oh wait, huh? We've organized our army to have our strongest on the front lines and against the tree line, giving us a side route for you to make your way straight to the castle. Oh my god, and I'm gonna be with Eric by ourselves and then something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? If anything trickles into the side route, you'll be able to handle it. However, there is something I must ask of you. What's that? What is it? If you are indeed attacked, you need to defend your fiancé the entire way there. Do not let him use his energy. Oh no! Oh no! I'm gonna fuck this up! Oh. Are you out of your mind? Eric, it's okay. I can handle myself, but I'm gonna make a mistake. I just know I am. When you get to the castle, I will be fighting one-on-one -on -one with the demon lord. If something should happen to me, then I need you to take over. Oh! She is not ready to fight him, and you need to be at full strength to finish him off. Oh fuck, this is actually going to kill me, like, if something happens to Eric, I'm gonna die. She's been taught well. Let her prove herself when the time comes. Oh my god. 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 <laughs> I stared listening and reaffirming the order. I couldn't lie, I was nervous. However, I was determined enough to see through. Looked over at my fiancé with, with a confident smile. I got this, don't worry. So confident! <laughs> Despite the worried look in his eyes, he nodded and held my hand, trusting me and my decision to agree with Diana's command. Diana rolled her shoulders and looked on the map draped over the war table between all of us. Her gaze pierced into the parchment as the aura around her body pulsated in anger. I will fly ahead and meet the demon lord head on. No matter what happens, I will not allow that monster to live. Okay, Diana, I hope I hope she won't do anything shady because I'm starting to like her with the Cyana thing and the whole ship and whatever, but like, for the love of God, please. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> the pure determination and anger in her voice practically sent a shiver down my spine. She was set on seeing this through to the end and I was sure that she was willing to to even die if it meant taking the demon lord with her. The remainder Incubi and their wives were asked to stay behind the army and guard the main base. Oh my god, this is bad! <laughs> Where Robin and Faye were stationed, they needed as many eyes as possible in back of the battle, so the four couples were perfect to keep things in check. 
As they agreed, the meeting ended and the mental preparation had begun. The idea of an upcoming battle scared me, sending waves of fear and a worry up, my, up and down my body in response to tonight. So, my warrior princess, are you ready? No! <laughs> I want to say yes, but I'm scared. Eric gave me a comforting smile and gently leaned down and kissed my cheek, wrapping his arms around me softly. I promise. I will protect you from anything that comes our way. Oh my god, please don't die! I listened to him speak before nodding and taking in a deep breath. Everything would be okay. We would be fine. I had to believe in myself and get us to the castle when the time was right. Oh god. Oh god, this looks like a nightmare already. Oh my goodness. Like a beacon, our forces became the banner of hope and strength for the rebellion. At the sight of Diana, many soldiers bowed and stayed in awe and stared in awe and inspiration. Maybe it was her presence, or maybe it was for what she stood for. But as Diana stood at the cliff side of the mountain, the air became full of energy and power. My fiance, Rabbit, Faye, and I stood behind her as Diana stood on the ledge of the cliffside, addressing the rebellion for their final battle. Her voice echoed across the field, booming and reverberating through the air like thunder. Melites, et hoc liberatius durei tramcun tuis omnibus conversiris stobobiscum reducitic vos adspem nocte. I wish I knew what she said. What is she saying? She said that she will help them gain their freedom and she will stand with them as they fight this war. Okay. I like it. I like it when the Incubis, like the Incubi brothers have their demon voice because it's so much better. I'm just saying. It makes it sound so much better. Is that all? Well, she also said that the castle will be bathed in blood, but I don't believe she means it literally. Eh, I don't know, Diana, you know, she can get really, like, intense, if you know what I mean. I nodded as I stared at, at the back of Diana's head. A part of me felt a little intimidated and jealous of the power she had. She really could make armies bow to her and obey her every whim. At the same time, I know that she was doing the right thing for this world. A pair of guards rushed forward, carrying a flailing imp demon who was caught in chains, and forcefully slammed him down in front of Diana. She glared down at him and gripped one of his horns, pulling him to his knees. You should be thankful we didn't throw you into a stew like we did your partner. Ew! Is that what the stew was? What the fuck? Was that the stew that Diana gave us earlier? Oh god. With that, with that whisper, Diana dug her nails across the imp's neck, slicing open five large gashes in his throat and making him gargle a painful, bubbly cry. Diana, however, kept holding his head up, focusing on the blood and pouring it from him and guiding the energy that emanated from it towards the castle. With a flash, a large purple and red orb barrier that surrounded the castle shattered, fading it into the air. The barrier that held the demon lord at bay was finally open, allowing us to charge in and end this all for, at once. Diana summoned her saber, letting it shine brightly as the purple taint over her skin began to twist and turn. Before my eyes, the taint on her back took shape, lifting off of Diana's skin and morphed into a set of demonic wings. I could only stare, jaw drop, as Diana's body lifted off the ground and began to fly over the legions, slowly guiding towards the castle. To war! To battle! Ah, my god! This is so cool! Um, at the first command, Diana's wings pulsated in the air, flopping gracefully as she swooped down and forward. Swooping is bad. It's a Dragon Age reference. <laughs> she was charging and flying for the castle wall, saber bared and ready to spill blood. At, as the armies below began to bellow and march forward, Rabbit took hold of my shoulder and turned me away from the castle to face her. Come, we must hurry. Oh my god, I love Eric's like demon form. Like, oh, it's so like, it's, it's good, you know. Shirtless, all the, the Incubi brothers is great. Understanding the need for urgency, I nodded and rushed forward with the rest of the Incubi towards the slope down the mountainside. Everything is in order. Sergeant Diana's guard are at the front lines while Shadow is with his legion to the west. Okay. Is our route clear? We've done what we can to keep your way clear. We'll try to make sure the battle won't break through the path. Oh god. <laughs> I nodded. I'm feeling the need to rush Nip at my heels pushing me forward. My fiancé seemed to agree, gripping my hand and walking at my pace alongside me. However, as we finally arrived at the forest line, Faye and Rabbit stopped, looking back at us. Straight through here. The sound of the war will always be on your right, so do not get lost. Oh my god, I'm not good with direction either. You'll be fine though, just follow the tree line. Okay. In sync, my fiancé and, and I nodded in acknowledgement before turning to see the other brothers and their wives. 
So this is it. Remember your surroundings and protect each other. Hang on, hang on, hang on a second. Why is Eric the only one in demon form and everybody else is still in their, like, human form? What the fuck? Be careful, alright? Make sure you stay safe. Kick his dead body a couple times for me, alright? Right in the head. <laughs> oh, Sam. We'll be right here rooting for you and watching your back, okay? We'll finish this and rush in as soon as we can, alright? Make sure you kick some serious ass. Show that old goat what he gets for messing with you. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. We'll win this. We know we can. You can do this. We'll see you soon, okay? Oh my god, I hope so. I'm so scared. Oh my god, you guys. You don't understand how frightened I am right now. <laughs> I smiled despite the nerves running through my body. I held onto my fiancé's hand and gave it a hard squeeze before receiving one back in kind. We'll finish this, then we'll go home. The group nodded before I slowly turned and looked to the tree line, took a breath, and rushed forward. Matching my speed, my love followed, weaving through the trees behind me to not to lose sight of me. Oh god, why is this happening? Oh my gosh, let me save. Okay, I could be wrong. Is this like the forest where this, the orb, like the, that spirit, that child, showed us in the previous episode? Is this where it is? Oh my goodness. The journey was surprisingly fast going through the trees. The sound of the war crashed beside us outside the tree line, causing me to cover my ears a bit from the volume, but I shook my head and pressed forward, not wanting to become distracted. The goal was get to get to the castle. I had to focus. Before I could, however, I skid to stop, seeing imps appear from the distance and rush towards us. As my Incubi came up behind me and spotted the imps, he prepared himself to attack, but I placed my hand on his arm, stopping him. I got this. I walked forward and formed my weapon, letting it shine brightly in the darkness of the forest around us, temporarily blinding the imps ahead of us. The hilt of my sword materialized in my hand as a sharpened lavender blade jutted out from the handle. Glimmering brightly with my energy, I swung it around a bit, remembering the training I went through with it, and steadied myself. The imps who were blinded by the light only for a moment looked back at me and stared as they took note of my weapon I had possessed. With a battle cry, I rushed forward, taking advantage of their black stare. For Winterfell! <laughs> you scream your homeland to do that, you know. I don't know why I chose Winterfell. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I sprinted forward and carved my sword through the imps, cutting his neck open in a slice. Damn! before swirling around ripping through the imps beside him and effectively cutting him down. Holy shit, we're ruthless! Yeah! Oh my god. The imps fell as the others became shell-shocked at the sight. It must have been a big surprise to see a human cut down two of their m number, but I wasn't in the mood to let them recover. My body quickly turned in front of the other imp and swung my weapon as once again, slicing open his throat. Holy shit! <laughs> With a bubbling cry, he fell as well as I rushed forward again towards the castle, uncaring. The remainder imps began to quake and step back in fear, most likely never expecting to see a human decimate their companions. I wasn't so friendly and merciful, especially in this war, as I lunged forward back and skewed through the other imp, hearing my steel weapon break through his body. My incubus, despite probably being surprised at my carnage, followed as I continued forward, fighting through every imp that came in our way. I had lost count on how many times, but I didn't care. All I cared about was getting to the castle. Damn, we're so hardcore! Holy crap, this is awesome! By the time we reached at the end of the forest, there were a skew of body, dead bodies behind me. I stood by the tree line, panting and feeling the waves adrenaline from the lack of energy through our, my veins. I panted for air, slowly focusing on calming down. As my energy quickly depleted from the adrenaline filled high, the weapon in my hand quickly vanished, no longer able to maintain its form without my energy. That was all I could do before my energy was expended and wave of exhaustion rolled through my body. I began to fall forward, exhausted. My fiancé, however, quickly rushed forward and caught me in his arms. Whoa! Princess, are you okay? Yo, I just, like, took out a thousand demons back there, so no. <laughs> huh? I looked up to see Eric staring down at me with a deep, concerned gaze. We were safe for the moment, so I merely smiled up at him with a nod. I'm fine. I promise to protect you, like you protect me. Eric let out a small laugh, kissing my forehead and hugged me to him. You spoil me so much, my love. Aw, so cute! I hugged him back, feeling relief that we had finally arrived at the castle and we were about to rush inside. As we slowly pulled away, Eric lifted me up and helped me to my feet. Will you be alright? I nodded, shaking off the exhaustion from my mind. I was ready to end this. I looked up at the castle gates and felt a rush of determination run through me. Let's go finish this. With that, Eric and I rushed forward into the castle. The final battle had begun. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, I need to save again. <laughs>
Eric and I rushed into the castle, into the main hall, where we could hear Diana and the demon lord clashing swords. I will tear you to shreds! Oh, come on, Diana, kick his ass! Oh my gosh. As we finally entered the space where the battle was happening, we stopped at the doorway, spotting Diana slamming her saber over and over onto the demon lord's sword, which was held over his head like a shield. From the look of it, the demon lord was severely wounded and was trying to hold out against Diana's barrage of blows. Diana wasn't looking well, too well herself, but she seemed to have an upper hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't kill Diana, okay? Diana needs to live as well. What was scary is, was the, that Diana's face was completely smeared with blood, intensifying and frightening look of rage and anger in her eyes. Every swing was reckless, powerful, thrown to eventually hack into the Demon Lord. With her displeasure, the Demon Lord was able to block each time. Eric and I slowly stepped in, watching as Diana continued to beat steel to steel in angry rage, trying to find an opening and becoming more enraged with each block the Demon Lord pulled. Slowly his body began to glow, pulsing with red energy. Enough! With the blast of red lightning, Diana was sent flying back, slamming against the pillar and falling to the ground with a thud. Ah! Oh no! Diana! The demon lord seemed to ignore my shout as he stood and began to walk over towards Diana's fallen body. Diana tried to press up on her hands, stumbling and buckling a bit, before she glared up at the demon lord while he approached. I should have waited until you came back, so I could have killed all of you in one fell swoop! Shut up! <gasps> Damn! Oh, look at her! Oh my god! Diana's glare intensified as a large black and purple flame engulfed her body form that rage ignited within her. You bastard! Oh my god! Pouncing off the ground, Diana formed a new saber in her hand that flew at the demon lord, bringing it to slice his throat open. However, the demon lord par parried, locking a steel once again with her and leaning with a hard glare of his own. How does it feel to be the only one left alive in your family? Not even your unborn sister survived! Fuck this guy! Diana snarled as she slammed her feet into the demon lord's chest, forcing him back and causing her to catch herself with on her wings, remaining in the air. The voice that in interrupted from Diana's mouth sent shivers down her spine. Can I just say, I know the music isn't that loud, but oh my god, Christopher Escalante did the music, who is also the voice of Eric. Um, he did the music, uh, the soundtrack music for this game, and to seduce me one. This is like, I heard him post this up on his YouTube channel. I'll put a link if you guys want to check it out. Um... But this is such an epic soundtrack. It's so awesome. This this theme right here, battling against the demon lord, is so awesome. You don't even deserve the mercy of death! Eric instinctively placed an arm in front of me, staying put and watching intently. Both of us were sure that Diana possibly had this. We didn't want to get in the way of her rage if she was full out go going berserk. That is true. The demon lord let out a laugh before pro pointing his hand at Diana and summoning a large bolt of red lightning that shook, shoot out and slam at Diana. Luckily, Diana had placed her sword between them and blocked the lightning from hitting her skin. Still, she was slammed back into a pillar she hit before and held there against a stream of heavy red lightning. <laughs> You're losing your power, Succubus! Just like your weak parent! Oh no! With a tearful scream, Diana be began to push back, shaking and gritting her teeth. The wounds in her body began to bleed profusely, but she eventually sent a wave of purple flame-like energy into her sword and letting it climb up into lightning bolt into the demon lord's hand. Ah! Demon lord quickly pulled his hand away, revealing a sizzling burn aura around his palm and fingers. Diana, weakened, fell on her knees, exhausted but not out of it yet. Her eyes still bore into her enemies, not ready to give up. Whoa! What is happening, Eric, now? I felt myself glare ahead at the demon lord. He was a monster that needed to be stopped. Eric, feeling my anger, stepped forward and began to summon his en enthralled, enthralled tendrils behind his back around his form. Oh my god! Please don't kill Eric! Oh my god, I need a save. Oh god, oh my god, here we go. Guess it's time to step in. Oh my- Eric, please don't die. I watched as Eric rushed forward and planted his feet beside Diana, reeling his hands back and pu punching them forward. As he did, a crown of tendrils shot up from the ground around his body and flew at the demon lord like a spray of arrows. The demon lord glared and sliced each attack out of the way, panting from exhaustion but not ready to surrender. As he sliced through the last one, he sneered at his second son, gritting his teeth. You! Uh-oh. Eric smiled, licking his lips slightly. Oh my god! <laughs> did you miss me, father? As he finished his sentence, Eric formed another round of spikes behind him and shot them towards his father, glaring as he blocked and knocking each one against with his sword. Again with his sword. The demon lord let out a dark chuckle. Like I would miss little insect traitors like you. Oh, come on. Okay, clearly your sons are better than you. 
The demon learned that out how before slamming his giant sword into the floor, causing the ground to quake at a, and a large crack to cut through the marble and charge at Eric's position. Eric jumped into the air and landed beside a broken earth, sending another volley of spikes. Luckily, one rammed into the demon lord's shoulder, causing him to shout in pain. Losing your touch, aren't you? Eric is so cocky! Oh my god! The demon lord stopped before ripping a spike from his body, letting the wound bleed openly before rushing at his son with a sword held high. However, Diana swooped in and slammed her saber into the path of his sword, forming a deadlock. I'm not finished with you! Fuck! <laughs> Diana and the demon are pushed against each other, eventually jumping away from each other in aggravation. As Diana landed beside Eric, he stepped in and pointed his hands up to the ground, where his tendrils buried through the marble and jetted out spike traps. As the demon lord quickly reacted, rushing back before the spikes impaled him from below and glared. This match had become unfair fight for him, but in our, ca in our case, it was needed to finish him off at last. Just as cocky as your mother! No wonder she was my least favorite- <laughs> Oh shit, Eric, you're gonna take that from him? He just dissed your mother. Eric suddenly grew a darker face, the tendrils and his bodies glooming in a red misty in a red misty aura. Something snapped in Eric's emotions and the demon lord triggered it. Don't worry. I'll send you to a place where you'll never have to see her again. Shit. Eric and the demon lord then simultaneously rush forward at each at each other with the demon lord raising his sword high and Eric moving his tendrils to wrap around the blade. Eric and the demon lord went into a deadlock with the demon lord trying to cut through the hold his tendrils had on his sword. Eric, however, formed a free tendril and shot it up at the demon lord below, causing his father to release his sword and jump back. Now in arm, Eric smiled as his tendril snapped the sword in half with insane ease and tossed the two halves to the side to be forgotten. I watched in anxiousness, hoping the battle would end soon. It was two against one. The demon lord wasn't going to win. I, however, kept my distance to make sure he wouldn't attack me instead. I had no energy to fight. Taking in what Eric had done to his weapon, the demon lord snarled. I can beat you even without my sword. Remember who raised you, boy. Uh-oh. Eric let a large bark of a laugh as his tendrils sharpened into spikes once again. I'm afraid you're mistaken. My mother raised me. Yes! You were too busy doting on your favorite son to care about me or the others. Oh god, okay, if you haven't played Seduce Me 1, uh, the Demon Lord's favorite son is actually James, which is the oldest one. Oh, poor baby, I feel bad. <laughs> the Demon Lord growled, his fist becoming engulfed in red bolts of lightning. I created you! You owe your very existence to me! He owes nothing to you! I owe you nothing! Yes! The demon lord only laughed before suddenly grasping in pain. I had barely seen what happened, but I stared at the demon lord. I gasped at the sight. Protruding from the demon lord's chest was a spray of red spikes dripping with his blood. I could barely keep staring as he turned to look at us in shock. I looked over at Eric to see him pointing at the wall behind the demon lord, where the collection of spikes jutted through the black void into the demon lord's back, effectively skewing him. Ooh. You never paid attention. You were blinded by pride, and that will be your downfall. No! He's mine! Diana! Okay, D Eric quickly pulled his tendrils from his father's body, causing the demon lord to fall forward from the pain of the momentum. Dan, however, swooped, swooping his bad, at the demon lord and rammed her saber through his chest. A garbled gas escaped his throat. Is he dead? Without hesitation, Dan pulled her sword out and stabbed him once, driving her blade all the way through him and letting the hilt snarl into his face. Those... Were for my parents. Yes! A third stab directly through his heart. For my sister! Fuck yeah! Diana finally pulled her sword out and rammed it through the side of his head, pushing him down on the ground in a lifeless thud. He was dead by now. Eyes glazed over in death's cold, breathless embrace. However, Diana didn't care. Diana quickly straddled his waist, bringing up her saber and using her magic to shorten the dagger in her hands over above her head. And for every life you took from this world! Oh my gosh, she's so intense! Mad and Diana began to violently slam and pepper and stabs into the demon lord's chest. Holy shit. I, uh, Eric rushed over and wrapped an arm around me, covering me from the sight, but he, he was unable to block the sound of Diana's sob-filled screams with each stab. I became a bit frightened at Diana and how she was releasing her anger. However, it was entire, entirely justified. He had taken everything from her and caused worldwide chaos. It was only natural to demand revenge even after death. This was this was her last stand with him, and she had dominated his very course with her blade, uncaring of the last spirit no longer within it. It went on for far too long, to the point where Eric had to let me go and walk forward, pulling Diana off of him. She began to flutter, dro dropping the knife and letting it fade into the ground 
letting it fade as it hit the ground into nothing. No! Let go! Oh no. Diana! Eric pulled Diana to her feet, gripping her shoulders, shaking her and glaring into her, hit her eyes. Enough! <laughs> Diana's eyes were bloodshot, desperate to keep striking the dead body, but filled with emotion and broken in inhibition. As she finally took in Eric's words, she shut her eyes and dropped to her knees, releasing a wave of sobs and cries. Oh no! Where's Seto? Oh my god! <laughs> I walked over to Eric's side, pitying Diana. She must have seen so much death. This was her solace and chance to let go. To know her family was gone because of him wrenched pain into my heart, but I knew it was finally over. Is it? I need to save again. They were avenged and so were many people who died under his hand. The demon lord was dead at last. The weight li lifted off my heart and spirit, proving to me that the curse was broken and that the chain that bound me to the abyssal plains was gone. I could go home. I hugged Eric's arm to me, finally letting out the sigh I was holding in relief of the situation. Eric smiled and kissed my head. It's over now. Oh my god, please tell me it is. Yeah, we can go home now. A wave of joy rushed through my body, happy to know that I was free to go home. I began to, I began to become overjoyed with the idea of returning, walking across the aisle and marrying Eric before returning to my normal life. Life in the demon world was adventure, but it was time to finish this and leave. I smiled to Eric before kneeling down and placing a hand on Diana's shoulder as she cried, causing her to look up at me. I could only smile at her, try to relieve some of the heartache and burden she was releasing. It's over, Diana. We won. A small breath of silence ran through the air before Diana wiped the tears from her eyes and nodded, shaking from the experience. It's over. They keep saying this, but I feel like it's not. <laughs> I nodded and gently helped Diana stand before Eric took my hand and walking towards the entrance of the hall. Diana, however, turned back to look at the demon lord's body, stopping us in our tracks. Was this all worth it? I lost my family because of him. There was so much bloodshed. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Diana tightened a fist to her side, gritting her teeth and shutting her eyes. I didn't get to say goodbye to my family. My sister. I felt another wave of empathy run through my body without her word. She wasn't really alone, though. She had Seto. Yes, Diana. He was truly everything she had left in the world, and he was more than willing to walk through, walk through it with her. It was all right, so I reached out to take her shoulder. Diana looked over, seeing the comfort in my eyes despite her broken gaze. Before I could speak, however, a familiar purple light glowed from the demon lord's body, catching our, our eyes and causing us all to look over in shock. What was happening? Oh god! Oh god! What the fuck's happening? What's happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I thought he was like, oh gosh, okay. Before our eyes, a faint purple orb slowly appeared and bobbed up and down in the air, looking at us. The orb that had haunted me and was expelled from me floated over the dead body of the demon lord, as if it had been there the entire time. You. The orb moved in a circle around the demon lord's body, letting the faint trace trail behind it temporarily draw a circle in the air. As it returned to its spot, it released the pulse of light. The light slowly drifted towards Diana, impacting her chest and making her glow a bit before the light faded away. Confused, Diana stared at the spirit, trying to figure out what it had done to her. Was it an attack? Slowly, Diana became wide eyed at the fami familiarity. With a shaking hand, Diana reached out towards the orb, lost in emotion in her eyes as she kept her sights on the spirit. Oh. Aurabelle. What? I stared at Diana in shock. It had a name? How did Diana know the spirit at all? It was like she was gra grasping at straws. How could Diana know who it was? Orb floated f forward, stepping in front of Demon Lord's corpse as Diana took a step forward. Hi, Isaiah. That's her sister, right? I was right. I was wrong. Diana hit the nail on the head with the name and it seemed to be acquainted with it. Diana took a couple more steps forward before dropping to her knees in the middle of the hall. I watched as te the tears began. I watched as the tears began to stream down her face and her body began to quake. The orb slowly floated over to Diana and hovered just within arm's reach of her. Diana's hands shakily lifted up past her cheeks and over her mouth. Oh, or the... <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, big sister. Aww. Big sister? Diana was her... Diana suddenly let out a tearful gasp before reaching forward and taking the orb into her arms, somehow pulling the orb into a tight embrace. The orb seemed to shimmer in, its, in the hug it was in, but it seemed to didn't react any other way. Diana, however, became a weeping mess, crying and shaking while holding Aurabelle close. Aurabelle! Aurabelle! Aww. I couldn't believe it. The spirit was Aurabelle, Diana's sister? What kind of coincidence was that? How did Diana not know herself? How did Aurabelle not tell me? It obviously knew Diana just from how they were embracing. Yeah, that's kind of weird, isn't it? I don't know. Still, the sight of Diana in a mournful tears gripping at, 
gripped up to my heart. Diana was lost. Diana lost her sister and suddenly was able to speak to her once more. Even after his Orabelle's death, it was if as Faith wanted to apologize for taking her family away. I became a crying mess myself. Oh my god, I would too, honestly. It was a very cheerful reunion after the dramatic battle. I didn't know how to feel in the situation we were in. Diana didn't seem to care as she continued the cry and hold Orabelle. Eric wrapped an arm around me, comforting me as I wept my tears and tried to avoid weeping. Diana, however, didn't seem to care about the tears running down her face. This is the first time I've heard you cry, sister. Aww. I'm sorry. I wanted... I tried to save you, but I... It's okay. The demon lord did this to me. It suddenly made sense. Orabel was an unborn baby, so it wouldn't have known its name. The demon lord was the one who killed her, so the puzzle pieces were connecting perfectly. Orabel then phased out of Diana's hands, making the demoness gasp and look up at the orb. Orabel, however, floated in place in front of Diana as she continued to speak. The demon lord made me find the human. What? Orabel was working for the demon lord. She helped the imps bring me to the demon world. Orabel. You were in the human all along? Why not just tell me? Why? Oh god. He made me. But now I have nowhere to go. Oh, Aurabel. Something in the air didn't seem right. Something about Aurabel came, became off and I couldn't place my finger on it. The more I stared, the more concerned I became and the heavier of nervous system. I oh my god. Is she gonna like try to possess Diane or something? Isaiah, I love you so much. But Oh god! Oh god! I need to save! Oh no! Oh my god! The air seemed to freeze and the room became still as Orbel floated back towards the body of the demon lord. As Orbel stopped, she began to glow in the dark red and purple color. I can't forgive you. What the fuck? All at once, the orb flashed and vanished in the thin air, only a misty ga gas present in the aftermath. Orbel! We looked to one another. We looked around, trying to pin down where she had gone. The demon lord's hand suddenly lifted up and slammed onto the ground. We shot our heads back to the corpse, and seeing it began to animate. The demon lord slammed his other hand into the ground and began to push himself up, curling his shoulders over and using whatever strength he had, getting onto his knees and eventually to his feet. What? Oh god! The demon lord's body stood up and steadied itself on the ground to, on its two feet, heavy and void of life. What was happening? How could this be? He's a walker! Oh my god, call Rick! Oh my goodness. The demon, lord had, the demon lord's head lifted up to look at Diana. I guess his eyes were glossed over in a dark purple, almost black color. Blood continued to pour from his wounds over his body, but the body continued to move as it had a small breath of light. His mouth dropped and began to mold itself into forming words, dead and echoey with Orabel's voice seeping through. You let him kill me. You let him kill mother and father. Uh, oh my god, where is Seto? Oh my god. You let the human live and let us die. I can never forgive you. The voice of the demon lord and Arabelle seemed to fuse in a di dissonant harmony as the body slowly began to march towards the unmoving Diana. My mind screamed for her to move and run, but Diana didn't seem to, but Diana didn't seem to be immobile at the oncoming danger. Oh my god, Diana, move! Holy shit! She remained in place, shocked and frozen at what her sister had said and done. I could barely make out her hair and body, shuddering at the nat in natural fear. But she wouldn't move at all. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I have to save again. Fuck my life. Oh god, no! You can't- Michaela! You can't make me do this! Grab Diana or call it out again. If- Okay. If I go grab Diana, obviously the-, the Or Bell. A demon lord, whatever, is gonna grab me, and that's probably gonna end up in a bad ending, right? But if I call it to Diana, she's gonna die, right? Can I call it to Seto? Is that possible? Because she did give me Seto's name, right? To call him out at, at a time of need? Oh god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Save me. Okay, I'm gonna do- I'm gonna call out Diana for- if I get a- oh my god. Oh fuck, I'm so scared, you guys. <laughs> Diana, please move! I stood there, lost in what was happening. When she reached her, when she reached her, Orbel grabbed ho hold of Diana's throat and lifted her, making Diana choke and fill her legs in the air. Oh, ah! Say sorry with your life. Oh no! She killed her. Eric and I became witness to Orbel crushing Diana's throat. I could barely hear her cries as as the snapping of her neck echoed through the hall. Oh my god! I made a mistake. Oh my god! I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Oh my goodness. I killed Diana. 
As Orba let the body drop to the floor, Diana's corpse made a painful thought echo through the room behind my screen. However, Orba then turned to her head to look at me and Eric. Orba loomed over us, filling me with dread. The stench of the demon lord's corpse became unbearable, despite not being dead long. I had no energy to fight. The realization made me step back from the undead demon lord. You hurt me. Hurt me. Now I'll hurt you. Oh, I knew it. I made a mistake. Orville picked up the demon lord's broken blade parts and slammed them together, fusing them back into one sword with her energy. How was that possible? She was a spirit. Orville then started to charge at us, rising the, raising the sword barely over Eric in my head. Oh my god, is Eric gonna die? Please don't do this. I prepared to defend, but was blocked by the back of Eric's head and a wave of in enthralled in tendrils. All at once, the tendrils grabbed onto the hole of the sword and forced it away. Around Eric's body was a deep red and purple mist, swirling in the air and wrapping around his summoned tendrils. As he stepped forward, Aurabelle surprisingly stepped back. I won't let you hurt the one I love. Oh my god, I won't let you hurt Eric either. With a snarl, Aurabelle lunged at Eric, trying to wrap her arms around him, but was pushed away by Eric's tendrils. Arabelle and Eric charged at one another, Arabelle gripping to Eric's outstretched tendrils and began to push one each other. The wounds on the demon lord's body began to open and bleed further, causing it to quake and push against Eric's strength. You won't last long in that body. Give up. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! With her screams, Arabelle knocked away the tendrils before her and managed to get close to Eric, but not with the impaling her herself into on traps. Eric's placed around him, which caused the spikes to shoot up and into the rotten body of the demon lord. Disgusted at the sight and smell, Eric used his tendrils to shove Orbel off of him and towards the opposite end of the room, where Orbel slid and rolled against the marble, painting it red and black with blood. I can't- I can't read this straight because I just realized- Oh my god, I just killed Diana, you guys. I'm traumatized now. What is this? Quickly, Orbel jumped back and began to howl and scream, her cries filling the room and making it quake violently. Oh my god. I held my head, trying to block the, out the sound, but the cries began to fill my head with pain. <laughs> Eric, in defiance, sprayed a volley of spikes at her and landed on Tigret. The spikes remained in the corpse, but Orville continued to move, des desperate to fight back with everything she had. What was wrong with her? How was she able to get going? Were spirits really that powerful? As my back hit the corner of the room, I could hear Eric release a grunt of pain, causing me to look over my shoulder to see what had happened. Eric having knocked away on the la slash from Orville's sword, unfortunately couldn't block the fist, for sending Eric flying to the wall. Oh no! <coughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Eric's body slammed into the stone and fell onto the ground, gasping for air and curled over him from pain. Eric, don't kill him! I can't do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I have- to Oh my god. <sighs> You guys, I have to end the episode here as much as I don't want to. I don't want to leave anyone hanging as to, like, what the fuck is going to happen, but we're running close to, like, 40 minutes, so I gotta, I gotta end the episode here. Holy shit, this is so intense. I need to take a break because I I just fucked up. I killed Cyana, you guys. That was, like, my new o OTP. Oh my god, I've ruined everything. Oh, Michaela, what are you doing to me? Oh god. Guys, I think I made a mistake. Like, I literally think I got the bad ending with Eric. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, God, with that being said, please remember to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, let me know what do you think is gonna happen now. Oh my God, I can't believe I killed Diana, I'm so like, I'm so upset right now. <laughs> Holy shit, oh my God. Remember to share this video, let them know the demon war is happening, and this shit is going on, and I'm freaking the fuck out. Also, I know there's a lot of comments on my videos saying that you guys want me to release like the Seduce Me episodes like right away. And as much as I want to, trust me, I want to all the time, I have, I do have other Let's Plays of the work that other people are looking forward to, so if I don't really seduce me on, like, the next upload day or whatever, please be patient and understand that I'm trying to uh, adjust to every part of my audience. As much as I love you, the Seduce Me fans, I love you guys a lot, but... There are other people who want to see, like, my other stuff. And if you're curious about the Let's Plays, go ahead and check them out. I promise you, I promise you, they're great. Like this game. And there's a lot of cute boys that I'm flirting with. So, I mean, like, like what could you ask for? I need to go lay down. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!